Hi, welcome to Helicopter Training Videos. This is another video in the Helicopter Components um, series. And in this video we're looking at turbines or turboshaft power plants for helicopters. Turbines, or turbines as we say back in England, have been around for a while, uh, but the first helicopter with a turbine engine was Charles Cayman's intermeshing K225. You can see that uh, in the image here. That first flew in December of 1951. Unlike piston engines, turbine combustion is continuous. There's a continuous burn going on. And uh, unlike turbines used in airline jets, the exhaust gases in a, in a helicopter turbine or turboshaft, they don't actually contribute to the forward thrust as they do in an airline jet. There's four main sections to a, a turbine. There's a compressor section, a combustion chamber, a turbine or turbine, a gearbox assembly. Let's look at the compressor to start with. The compressor draws air in, filtered air in, slows it down and compresses it using blades and stator vanes. There may be more than one row of these and they're called pressure, pressure stages. And the air is just not only used for fuel, actually about 75% of the airflow is actually used to cool the engine. So you can see here it's drawn in at the front, compressed, and then the compressed air is fed back towards the uh, combustion chamber. The combustion chamber uh, is basically uh, a continuous burning inferno. Uh, compressed air is mixed with vaporized fuel and ignited. And once it's burning, it's a continuous burn. The, igni the igniter plug at the back there, that's only used for starting the turbine. Uh, once, once it's up and running, it's, it's not used unless there's something called a flame out, where there's an interruption of the fuel or the air. Uh, the engine flames out and then the igniter plug is used to reignite the turbine. Some have an automatic restart. Then there's the turbine section. Hot expanding gases from the combustion area escape through the turbines, turning them. Depending on the model, that can be up to 20 or 50,000 uh, revolutions per minute. There's two stages here. There's an M1 or gas producer turbine and then there's an N2 or power turbine. The uh, N1 turbine or gas producer that's used to power the compressor at the front and any other sort of self-sustaining systems like uh, the fuel pump and the oil pump. The N2 or the power turbine that one's used to power the rotor blades and any kind of accessories, air conditioning, that kind of thing. Some helicopters have what's called a direct drive or fixed turbine where both of those turbines are on the same shaft but most helicopters have something that's called a free turbine where the N1 and the N2 are on separate shafts. And then finally the exhaust uh, escape out the exhaust outlet. Temperatures are measured at different places depending on the manufacturer but a common uh, temperature is something called the turbine outlet temperature that's monitored to make sure that the, uh, the engine's within limits. So finally we have the, the gearbox assembly the N1, as we already said, drives the self-sustaining components, the compressor, the oil pump, the fuel pump, etc. The N2 is then geared out to the main and tail row to transmission and any other accessories. Comparing turbine power plants to piston power plants, there's pros and cons to having a turbine. First of all, turbine engines provide a better power to weight ratio and they're easier to maintain. On the negative side, they're more expensive to buy and run and if they're damaged, it can be very expensive. I was lucky enough to get to fly a BAL 206. So in this following video, you'll hear the starter motor spinning the turbine, and you'll be hearing like a clicking noise, which is the igniter plugs firing. A couple of seconds into the process, you'll hear like a roar, and that's where the fuel is, in, is uh, introduced into the turbine. The turbine ignites, the blades start turning faster and faster. I think this is one of the coolest sounds in aviation.
If you're looking for more information, you've got the Helicopter Flying Handbook by the FAA. Look under Chapter 4, Helicopter Components. You've got the Robinson R66, which is a turbine helicopter by Robinson. You can look at the POH, or Pilot Operating Handbook, online at the Robinson website. Look under Section 7 for Systems. You can also download from Robinson the R66 Maintenance Manual. And if you look under Chapter 71 Power Plant, there's more information on the Robinson R66 turbine engine. As usual, uh, any questions, suggestions, please get back to us. I look forward to uh, hearing any feedback, and uh, thanks for listening.